Paul Lagrati died on March 28 last year from a sudden cardiac arrhythmia at his home in Kent, where he resided with his husband Andre Portasio. After he died in March last year, Paul Lagrati is said to be honored by a whole host of famous faces in a new ITV documentary about his life. The icon died on March 28 last year from a sudden cardiac arrhythmia at his home in Kent, where he resided with his husband Andre Portasio. To mark a year since his death, ITV is remembering his incredible journey in the one-off special The Life and Death of Lily Savage. Lily Savage was the drag act Paul created and starred as, after developing the character for the first time in 1978. Lily began as a cabaret act in underground gay bars in the 1970s before going on to get her big break as a presenter on Channel 4 show The Big Breakfast in the mid-1990s. After this, the legendary drag act landed a primetime Saturday night slot on BBC's celebrity game show Blankety Blank. The 90-minute special will showcase interviews from Paul's loved ones including his sister Sheila Rudd and for the very first time, his daughter Sharon Mousley. A whole host of celebrities and members of the LGBT plus community will also appear to speak about the impact Paul and Lily had on them and the community at large. These include legendary actor Sir Ian McKellen, comedian Julian Clary and presenter Graham Norton. Graham, 60, says in the documentary, Lily made me laugh in a way that I can't think of anything else that made me laugh. Everybody loved Lily, and everyone wanted Lily. It was a big, bold move. Meanwhile, Paul's close friend Julian, 64, expresses, I couldn't think of anything more terrifying than Lily's beady eye landing on you if you were in the audience. She could control a whole room with charisma but also with that kind of aggression the genius of Lily, and of Paul, which is very difficult to do, is to be real all the time, and it comes across as genuine. The special also sees Sir Ian, 84, discuss his first interaction with Lily and recounted the friendship he went on to have with Paul. He explains, I first met him as Lily, not Paul. It was in Edinburgh and we were both doing publicity for our shows. Paul was already there dressed as Lily. We were friends thereafter. When he was talking away, I thought, was it Paul talking or was it Lily? I couldn't tell the difference. 